Hi guys, so I will be uh, not wearing a mask in this video or hiding my face behind a, a card. My teeth are really gnarly and if that bothers you then this is probably isn't the video for you. Otherwise, I'll see you on the other side. Hello beautiful creatures, welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. If, they, if you're a returning subscriber, <laughs> hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? It's always good to connect with your energy and I really appreciate you being here. So today I'm doing a, a general reading. This is a general session. It's like a collective message. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer a personal impression private sessions. All that information is down in my description box and my contact information is going to be maybe somewhere on the screen. <laughs> sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. So, um, But all of it's down in my description box. So, Okay, I'm going to pull from the fairy tarot. Uh, this thing is on fire today. So uh, I'm going to get like five cards and we're going to see what's going on with the collective. I'm also going to get a couple of uh, oracle cards to get kind of the general feel, but I want to draw the cards first. So, I hope you guys are doing well and you slept well. Good morning. I post these in the morning, so but they're timeless. So when you find them and it resonates, it's for you. It's kind of how it works. Okay. My air conditioning's on, but I can't turn it off because it's really hot outside. And once my house gets hot, I don't know about your house, but once it gets hot, it has a hard time cooling off. So, okay. So I'm going to try not to flip these over. I really always want to flip them over immediately, but I'm going to try not to because I, I like to look at the oracle cards to get kind of a general feel of where the tarot is going sometimes, and that's what I'm feeling today. So, all right. Be sure to check me out on Instagram if you guys don't follow me over there. I post a lot of uh, different kinds of uh, videos and pictures and channeled messages and all kinds of stuff. So. I'm going to get one from the Beyond Lemuria deck. This is fastly, quickly, quickly <laughs> becoming my favorite oracle deck that I have. So, um, woo! I didn't see it. <laughs> I did, but we're going to act like I didn't, okay? <laughs> I think I'm going to get three oracles. So, I'm going to get one from the Star Seed um, oracle as well. I love this oracle deck. It just has such good vibes. I feel like it needs one more shuffle. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Woo! Okay. Still in that one. Okay. And um, which other one I have to choose from? I'm, my eyes are being drawn to the Spirit Animal Oracle. My hair is everywhere. It's driving me nuts, so sorry. Okay. I'm going to shuffle this three times. I love when my cards do that, when they, they shuffle so like they catch air. So fun. <laughs> When you work with cards, you have these weird things about them, I think. And I love when my, my cards shuffle really perfectly. Not that they're straight. They just catch a lot of air. I just love that so much. But I'm an air sign, too. So, Okay, can I have one card, please, for the collective? Okay, so let's get the energy. Gracious, receptivity. Yeah, this is a really beautiful energy. It's a beautiful card about, you know, being in receivership. Being in receivership so you can receive from the universe. Act as if. Ooh. This is a beautiful card. I love this is one of my favorite cards from this deck. And it's because of the color, you know, it's bright, it's colorful, and a ch this chameleon is on fire. Like I it says act as if, but the chameleon isn't acting as if they are they are it's not an act they are it look that chameleon's all about it and then we have inner earth you'll survive this new solutions and new beginnings okay that's that's good news that's good news new beginnings been getting a lot about new beginnings so let's see what's in over here we have the knight of wands we have the knight of pentacles doing a lot of movement Knave of Pentacles, something is, is being born. Queen of Swords and the Magician. You guys, <laughs> that's crazy good energy. Okay, so we have the Magician as the overall um, energy of the Tarot. And we have Inner Earth, you'll survive this, new solutions and new beginnings, act as if, gracious receptivity. So for some of you, or a lot of you, I, um, I'm feeling like they're, 
there has been like a brutal ending to something and this could be a job it could be a relationship it could be a friendship it could be family but something has happened that was just really really br brutal because when I see you'll survive this I'm feeling like man you know survival so things are tough you're having to kind of struggle to get through and you know I've been here I've been in this place where I was forced to kind of deal with a lot of my own garbage you know what I'm saying like my a lot of my own stuff and it's never it's never easy and you know when I feel like there's been some kind of major happening that held up a big mirror to you and you've had to make some changes and a lot of times when we're making a lot of changes um, we can really get lost in the kind of the, the debris of it right because we're a lot of times we have to look within we have the Queen do we have the Queen of Swords there? yeah we have the Queen of Swords that's what I thought so uh, the Queen of Swords can be a little cutthroat and you know if you are looking at yourself and you're reflecting on what happened in, in a situation and this could be somebody younger than you it could have something to do with your children it could have something to do with um, I feel like maybe someone who is innocent you felt always was innocent and you had good vibes about and maybe they they, it was all an act kind of thing or they weren't really honest about their feelings or their intention wasn't as pure as what they appeared to be and uh, that can be a really painful place and a Queen of Swords energy you know she'll she'll cut you out she will cut you off um, she has can have a vicious tongue sometimes um, the I, I, I'm feeling the Queen of Wands here but I, I you know I don't have it on the table but I'm feeling it I'm feeling like um, Oh wow, my face is starting to itch. So I'm getting a lot of like guides coming through and wanting to talk about this because I feel like this was extremely painful. Um, yeah, that knife, that knave of Pentacles, the page of Pentacles here. It feels because I'm picking up on the energy of the card here. Um, it feels like this is unexpected. This may have to do with your children um, or someone younger than you. Um, I'm feeling that very strongly. We have the Knight of Wands here and the Knight of Pentacles. So there's definitely movement, okay? So I feel like a lot of you have been doing work with the Magician card. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been forced to look internally and externally. You know, when we start going forward and really looking within ourselves and reflecting on these bad situations that happen sometimes, um, it can be painful, but it can be productive okay we can find out we a lot about how we operate and how um, there are times where we need to take control of situations and I feel that with the uh, magician the knight of Pentacles and the knight of wands I just feel this energy of you know what it happened whatever bad thing whether it's a job or whatever it happened and now you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my stuff together I'm, I'm gonna act as if and I'm gonna start receiving from the universe do you see the colors here like it's almost like this purple this purple's part of this gracious receptivity so um, and I don't want you to think that you need to put on a mask acting as if B B it's just like recently I have felt spirit talking about I've been talking about transition a lot for the last like three months and um, I've been waiting for the universe to move me out of transition and I heard Lilith say you have to walk out of transition you have to move forward we can't carry you out of transition you have to do the action and for me doing the action is being on camera my question to you is what is your action what do you need to do to move yourself out of the state of kind of um, kind of lingering here in um, this survive you will survive new beginnings you're gonna have to walk it's like a cave here you're gonna have to walk through this opening here to get to your new beginning so you've got to do an action uh, the Knight of Wands here is action very quick very quick energy um, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles so I feel like for a lot of you you may have been waiting for like a sign waiting for the get-go from the universe or waiting for someone to give you a job or waiting for an opportunity and what I'm hearing is is whatever you're waiting for whatever you've been working for it's time to act with the Knight of Wands. It's time to move forward, okay? And the Queen of Swords here is talking about clarity. I've been feeling a lot of clarity coming through for you guys. I feel like you'll know how to move. And that there is, I've talked about the va value in acceptance. There's a value in accepting that you have to walk out of transition, okay? You have to actively 
walk out of it. And honestly, the moment that you really start to move and understand that you ultimately have a lot of control over where your life goes. Yeah, things happen outside of us, but we have control over ourselves. And with that being said and accepted, it means that you have the power to move your life forward. And as you move your life forward with action, the universe is going to support you and send you signs. They'll send you synchronicities. Those things that you're waiting on are on the other side of this action, okay? It's very difficult to do, especially if you've been heartbroken. Um, if you've had someone just completely and utterly gut you, it can be very difficult to work to walk out of transition, okay? I'm not saying it's to, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm getting tongue tied. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying it's worth it. So uh, the question is, what is your action? Okay. Because um, I'm feeling like for a lot of you, once it, it's weird how this kind of works sometimes. Now, you know, everybody's different, but it, it feels like once there's acceptance and once you understand that you have to take action, the universe cannot just. The universe isn't just going to wake up one day. You're not going to wake up one day and the door is just going to open. You have to walk to the door and open it up. And on the other side is the universe waiting to meet you. Okay. So, um, and it's getting into the energy. And you can see her, her throat chakra here. There's an eye there. Awareness. Speaking from a higher state of consciousness. Allowing the universe to work with you. Not necessarily for you work with you to bring you where you want to be when you work with the universe instead of passively allowing the universe things really start to pop they really do because you are co-creating you understand that you are part of the universe you are part of this massive force of creation um, of this reality whatever you want to call it but you have to do action you have to walk to the door and open it up and then the universe greets you and say hey look at all these signs look at all these synchronicities they will send you synchronicities about the path you're on the journey um, validating the steps you're making along the way and you've probably gotten some of those but many of you have been waiting for the sign that hey um, we're going to meet you on the other side of the door. This is a big, this feels big. This feels like a big movement out of transition. Okay. So, um, and tr transition is a time when you heal, you rest, um, and you get ready. And I think we've been getting ready, haven't we? I think we've been resting. I think a lot of us have been taking care of ourselves, uh, to a degree. Um, maybe not as emotionally as we should. We're not our best emotional caretakers sometimes. But I think physically, we we've become as like a whole more uh, sensitive to like our physical needs, like rest, food, things like that. So, and that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing when we learn to take care of our vessels. But now it's time to take care of our emotional state and get out of our head about how um, things are going to be brought to us. No, they will to a degree, but you have to make the movement. You just have to. So um, let's get some more cards here. I'm going to get from the Sacred Power Oracle. That's the name of this one. So we have the magician here. So you are, you are more than equipped to move forward. And it's not like you're forcing anything. You're not forcing the universe. You're not forcing things to work. You're just starting the uh for some of you the slow walk towards the door ready to i'm sorry i have a fly in my room um ready to make changes um i'm seeing the card in the monology deck that talks about adjustments are required and that's what we're talking about here when you start moving to the door quote unquote you're going to become aware of things that need to be balanced or energies you need to purge or ways of being that no longer serve you but um yeah, it's almost like you meet the universe halfway, but you have to be in an attitude of receiving. You have to know that when you open the door, the universe is going to be there because the universe is going to meet your expectation. So if you expect the universe to not help you, then it's not going to, okay? But you are not at the mercy of the universe for everything, you know? To a degree, we do have things that happen outside of ourselves. I'm talking about your internal world, your internal journey, your own universe, how it works with you, okay? All right, let's get some more cards here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got the abundance card. So I feel like for a lot of you on the other side of this journey is this right here, 
For some of you, this is literally money. There's money waiting for you to claim it. Claim it. It's yours. Um, money can come from anywhere. A lot of times we limit ourselves with, oh, I have to work for money. And, you know, hey, we have to survive, right? But money really can be manifested from places you never even thought of. So keep that in mind. You know, if you're trying to manifest money uh, for, you know, to pay your bills, think of money on a bigger scale. Think of money as a resource. Think of um of getting more resources like for me um, my medicine i don't have to take as much of my medicine anymore and it saves me a lot of money so i have more money in my pocket you know that's a form of abundance also abundance can be people they can be people coming into your life and giving you giving you a lot of love giving you a lot of gratitude giving you a shoulder to cry on giving you someone to talk to that's a level of abundance with the universe uh, the universe sends you a lot of times when you're getting to the point where like for some of you, you may feel like I can't even get up to get to the door at this point, Amy. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. The universe has a way of sending people into your life who help you feel valued, who help you feel loved, and who help you know that you can get to the door. You really, really can. So be open for that. That's a form of abundance as well. So don't limit yourself to what abundance is for you. Think of abundance on a much broader scale, okay? Then we have exploration. So on the other side of the door is a whole new beginning. It's a whole new kind of reality. It's it's you manifested. It's a part of you that you have been trying to manifest on the other side of the door. Um, and that's why you have to get up and walk towards it because there's a part of you you'll have to embrace. There's a new part of you you will have to embrace because you manifested it. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. This is really good. This is magician energy. So this means that you can do, you can do it. You can manifest. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like a lot of people have been trying to manifest like a happier state or um, more self-acceptance, um, more self-love, things like that. You may be trying to manifest a talent or ability you may be trying to be seen or heard you may be trying to get a new job or a new person all those things are on the other side of the door and there are things about yourself you have to accept um, those being able to accept those things is really powerful um, because you can walk when you accept it you walk into it and you understand that hey this is where I'm at this is my reality and I've manifested this part it may not be the end goal but it will be something that keeps you going. That'll make you say, you know what? I am damn glad that I got out of that bed and I walked over the door. I just pointed to my bed. My bed's over here. <laughs> so I just pointed to the door and you'll be so glad you did it. The moments where you are lingering in doubt, those can be really painful and we have to let those go. And that may be your reality that you need to walk into. Your doubt is blocking you. Okay, your lack of connection with the highest part of yourself, the highest manifestation of yourself can be a block as well. So um, it's just a willing to accept certain things about yourself, the reality you are in, where you are, and what you want to be. Where do you want to go next? How do you want to manifest yourself in the world? You know, these are big questions, but you can walk into it. You can actively walk into it, you know. Um, Life is weird. What can I say? I have animal spirit here. I love animal kingdom. I love this card. Okay. So for some of you, uh, this is about sitting, spending more time with your pets. Pets help us ground. Um, I want to get a cat really soon. I'm really excited about that. I haven't had an animal in a long time. Um, both of my pets died many years ago and they died within two weeks of each other while I was sick. And it was Ooh, it was bad. It was bad, you guys. So I'm looking forward to having an animal again. For some of you, for many of you, these are your animal totems. Okay, they're coming forward. We have the bear, we have the owl, we have the eagle, we have the stag, and we have the wolf. And um, these are signs. These are synchronicities. So when you start seeing these animals, know that the doorway is being revealed. Um, you'll see it from across the room. You know, um, you'll be aware of it. And you'll be aware that in order to open that door, there are some things about yourself you're going to have to accept. And only you know what they are. You know, only you know what your internal universe is. Don't ever let anyone uh, proclaim what your your experiences are because your experiences are valid. And um, yeah, these are powerful, powerful 
animal totems. For some of you, the bear is really coming forward. That is a powerful animal totem. Um, yeah, look that one up. If you resonate with the bear, look that one up. The wolf and the owl as well. So, okay, guys, that's what I got for today. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.